This is Ruben with NYNews.com. Man, I am. I've been I've been checked out for for a bit. I've really. I didn't believe in in, in in this Yankees offense and watching the playoffs. I've just stayed quiet for the most part. I tweet here and there, um, but I sound like a broken record. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel like I'm a broken record. I I keep talking about the lack of contact, the lack of hitting, and and everybody's like, oh, but oh, we don't need little weak hitters. And it's like I'm not talking about that. I'm not saying to go and get some. I don't. Need, I'm not saying to go get eight IKFs. All I'm saying is that we need to have guys that can actually freaking hit and hit situationally. Guys that they realize, okay, I need to get on base. Let me just make sure I hit the ball and hit it pretty well to make sure I get a hit. That's all I'm saying. Like, you can't have uh, everyone trying to get their A swing off every single time. Rizzo was able to adjust. He had a really good postseason, but he needed help. Judge went missing. Stanton went missing. Um, to me, they both had glimpses of like, oh, are they going to get hot and nothing? And Donaldson, for as much as he got on base, we needed him to hit too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just about walking, bro. Like, you need to hit the ball. And I, I, it's just this whole lineup, bro. Like, I, I feel like a broken record already. I really do. We need guys that are also hitters first, not sluggers first. We need them to be consistently hitting, getting on base, driving in runners, and be more aggressive. These guys are walking up there to walk. Like, they're, they're like, oh, oh, that was a strike. I thought that was a ball. And then, oh, well, the next one's going to be a strike. Swing. Oh, shit, that was a ball. Like, and I know it's harder than what, it lo what I'm saying. I know it's harder. It's a hard sport. It's one of the hardest sports ever to play. But, bro, they were so in between with their approach that they kept taking hittable pitches and they went and swung at the wrong ones. Or if they swung at a strike, they were either late, fouling it back, or they were basically swinging and missing completely. And then on top of that, you have seven to eight. You had eight lineups in nine games? Like, seriously? Like, it's ridiculous. And then... On top of that, the injuries continue to bother us here and there. Thank God Judge stayed healthy. Stanton did not. This year, Stanton became Gallo. Like, it's like, bro, what is up? Like, this lineup should have been enough to win. If you look at it, players simply played to the back of their baseball card. We should have won. But we didn't because we get stuck on this approach about A-swing, A-swing, Minus Rizzo. Rizzo shortened up still. Why They need to, to start valuing contact and just hitting. Not just looking for the home run every single time. Like, there's a time for hits and there's a time for home runs. Like, and they're looking for the home runs more times than not. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of it. I really am. But anyways, I really, it, Boone has to go. I've never liked this bullpen management. In 2018, we won 100 games, and I was like, all right, let's give him a shot. Let's see how he does. And those one for, er, that 100 games that he won in, in 2018, I was not impressed because we had the talent to win 100 games already. I was looking at the details. Never loved this bullpen management. You know when he's throwing a game, when he's trying to steal outs, and he's still trying to steal outs in the postseason. You know, oh, in, in, in case of an emergency, we'll use Clay Holmes. Really? Like, on the brink of elimination, you, you know what I mean? Those kind of things don't make any sense to me. And then on top of that, let's see. His consistent changing of lineups. Doesn't believe in having two table setters. I know most of the MLB doesn't believe in having two table setters. But, you look at Houston, they have their, their top six are consistently the same. The only ones they rearrange are seven through nine. And then they have... The number two hitter is Jeremy Pena, not Bregman. Because Bregman is in the middle of the order. Because the middle of the order should have always been three, four, and five. So that way you guys have the big boppers there. And the first two are there to get on base. And if they just happen to hit for power, amazing. Cool. No problem. But that's that's the problem that we're having right now. 
Like, I've said it. You need to get guys that hit. Hit consistently. Not a 250 hitter all the way down the lineup. They end up becoming 222 hitters like Donaldson. Or, you know, Rizzo, I don't know what the hell happened this year. 225. You have um, Stanton finish with 211. Bro, if I would have put, like, every single player stacked up in a lineup and they simply stayed as healthy as possible and played to the, backs of, the back of their baseball card, then I would I completely understand if why we felt good about it. But everyone literally had like a down year this year. And people really thought they were going to win the World Series. How can you expect to win a World Series when you got so many hitters hitting under 250? That shit makes no sense. It doesn't. So, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I, am I crazy to, to even think that that we, we, we never had a chance? I didn't think we had a chance. For real. Like, I said it months ago. This team is done. They're cooked. I told my friends in a group chat that I have, and I was like, these Yankees are not going to make it to the World Series. It would take a miracle for them to win the World Series. Hate that I'm wrong. I hate that I'm wrong. But it's like, at this point, Cashman got to go. Boone has to go. Cashman doesn't know like what to Like, okay, he develops prospects, doesn't use them, sits Peraza down. Then... He trades them away for, like, it, it, it's weird how Cashman, like, does this with prospects. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, there are certain moves that are just plain and simple. Go get the obvious move because those were the guys that simply fit, you, fit your needs. Then you can go and get creative. Shortstop was pretty plain and simple. You went and got an IKF. You could have just gotten Carlos, Carlos Correa. You could have gotten a... Corey Seager, or whatever. Get any of them and have Gio Urshela play at their base. Urshela finished with a 285 batting average with a higher on base percentage than Donaldson. And while Donaldson had the way better defense, but Urshela's bat would have helped in the playoffs because he at least hits for contact. He's not going to hit for power, but he's going to at least hit the single. He's going to hit the double. You know what I mean? That's the kind of thing you need for the lower bottom part of your order. Donaldson... Did not play nowhere near his expectations. And if you go and look, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what is it with players, um, what causes this. But his numbers at, at Yankee Stadium for his career have been awful. I don't know what it is about playing in New York, but he sucks playing in New York. And that was as a visitor. And now he goes and joins the Yankees. And guess what? He sucked. I don't know, bro. Maybe he just can't play in New York. I don't know. I love the Donaldson. I thought the move could have could have potentially been good. But this guy just can't hit in New York. Look at his home home road splits. His he hit like normal Donaldson on the road. And then in Yankee Stadium, sucked. Playoffs sucked because of the, all the pressure. Like Correa has proven that he can hit in New York. He can hit in um in the World Series. He can hit in the playoffs. Now to me, I want Peraza. I want Peraza to be the shortstop. If you sign Correa, put him at their base. But guess what? I'm not expecting Correa. I'm not expecting Correa. I'm not, I'm not falling for this crap. These people are not going to sign anyone big. They'll, maybe they'll resign Judge. Maybe they resi resign Rizzo. But I don't expect anything game-changing. Because Cashman, if he is back, it's going to be the same status quo. That is it. And I don't even know where I'm going with this because at this point, it, I feel like a broken record, bro. I really do. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, for years we were saying, like, you needed more lefties. You needed contact. You needed high average hitters. We only regressed on batting average. The only guy that really, like, said, no, I'm going to hit for average is Judge. And even Judge couldn't take it into the postseason because the rest of the lineup was shit. So I do like the Bader edition. I think Bader is going to be a good option for next year. Hopefully he stays fully healthy on a contract year for him. I would love to have Ben Attenny back for a full season. Have him be your everyday left fielder. And I don't want this whole like, oh, let's all start resting. No, no. I want 150 plus games from these players. 
they're getting paid so much, they need to be ready to play 150 plus games. I'm sick and tired of these injury prone players, bro. Like, I really am. Rizzo, I know he got a whole back issue, but if we can get 145 plus, 150, Judge, 150 plus. Bader 150 plus same thing with Ben Intendi. We need consistent hitters that get into a rhythm Don't overvalue the rest rest is good. You want to keep them healthy for the postseason But at the end of the day, it's about rhythm We have gone to four years five years in a row five where we get our players back just in time for the postseason rusty They're rusty, bro They're not in rhythm and then you go and play them look at Carpenter striking up on all, all of his at-bats being healthy doesn't matter in the playoffs. It's about being in rhythm. If you're in rhythm and you're 90% healthy, that's better than 100% healthy and rusty. Like, come on, man. Like, are, are we seriously going to, like, like, their thought process makes no sense. A sport that is about rhythm. We don't believe in hot, like they said a few years back. When it's clear, humans get hot. We just get hot, we get cold. That's what you call struggle. You can't pinpoint when it started or whatever, analytically, but you can see it. You can, it's visible. You can feel it. You can see it. Like the the Astros are an, an analytical team, but they know how to apply the baseball human aspect of it. The Yankees don't. The Yankees look at them as numbers. It doesn't make any sense. Look at the skills of each hitter. This is a number two hitter. This is a number one hitter. This is a number four hitter. Not simply, oh, his numbers look good. I'm going to hit him number two. And I'll hit this one number four. But then you look at it and it's like, why is this guy hitting four? Like, he's obviously not a number four hitter. They pitch. They don't pitch to him as a number four hitter. They pitch to him as a bottom of the order guy. Guys have their spots because of the, how they pitch to them. Back in the day, they was like, that's a number three hitter because he's going to drive in all the runs. Regardless of how they pitch to him, they could be they could pitch in the toughest and he'll still get hits. Not going and put, oh, I'm going to put him on hit, hitting fifth uh, because his OPS plus. It's like, you got to start also looking at so the, OPS plus. I don't like it. I look at OPS. OPS plus is good to compare for the season. But OPS, it's a good measure. But you also got to look at, okay, where are they usually hitting well? What do they have the most experience in excelling and helping the ball club? Makes no sense, bro. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. But anyways, this is my rant. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm simply pissed. Cashman got to go. Boom, got to go. Give me an everyday lineup every, um, for 2023. Resign Benintendi, Judge. I don't know. Like At this point, I don't know who I want back. I don't know who's going to make it work. But anyways... This is Ruben with NYYNews.com. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. My YouTube channel, NYYNews-Ruben. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. Bye.